single biggest mistake that people do in their revision is to simply give up on the idea of improving. Maybe you've had a bad grade in physics, but the reality is that the outcome of the course is fully dependent on the amount of work that you guys put in over the next couple of months. In order to achieve a different grade, we also need to tackle our revision differently. One thing which I would thoroughly recommend is to have a revision schedule. The best way to achieve this would be to print off your specification. You'll be able to find that easily. All you need to do is to go onto Google and search for your exam board name, followed by the word specification. In this magical document, you will be able to find information on anything that the examiners will be able to ask you. It is a great idea to be ticking things off as a checklist once you've revised them and once you have solved multiple past paper questions. Pay particular attention to aspects of the course which you're not very sure of. Make sure that you give them a cross so that later on when you're revising, those are the bits of the course to really focus your energy on. It might be a great idea as well to give your week some structure and have each day of the week assigned a subject. But don't forget to give yourself one rest day. After all, you deserve it after all that hard work. Remember that for each part of the specification, I have some thorough revision videos that you can use. And if something doesn't make sense, feel free to drop a comment and I'll do my best at explaining it. After you've tackled all of the content, I really recommend doing as much past paper questions as possible. When you're doing them, try not to memorize, but to really understand the actual workings of how a question works and how a particular topic in physics works. This will make the whole process far more enjoyable and also it will give you the tools to succeed in university. And now talking about past paper questions, by far the best tip that I can give you is check out my past paper revision hack, which will really change the way you tackle past paper questions, revise for exams and ultimately lead to a higher grade and this is just over here.